Today, we're gonna to be making a rain picture. And we're gonna be using lots of bright and vibrant colors to make our rain picture look really bright and beautiful on a day that could be really gray and dreary normally. So to start with my project, I'm gonna use a Sharpie. And I'm gonna draw myself and my umbrella with my Sharpie. Then I'm gonna use watercolor paints to make the rain. So first I'm gonna pick one side or the other and I'm gonna use this side, my right side of my paper, and I'm going to draw my umbrella first. I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I'm gonna draw a kind of medium rainbow shape like that. And then from one side to the other, I'm gonna put some little M shapes on there, some little bumps like that for the bottom of my umbrella. And then on the top, I'm gonna to put a little circle. I'm gonna pretend that my face and my head is underneath my umbrella here. So you're just gonna be able to see my body. If it was raining, I would wear a raincoat. So I'm gonna make a little rectangle shape coming down underneath my umbrella. It can kind of be a triangle shape too for a coat. Then I'm gonna give myself some rain boots. So I'm gonna make a line coming down from the bottom of my coat to the bottom of my paper like that. And then I'm gonna put a little bump for the bottom of my boot. And then I can give it another little line for the top of my boot there. Watch, I'll do that again. I'm gonna put a line from the bottom of my coat to the bottom of my paper, make a bump, and then give it another line for my boot. Then I'm gonna color in this whole body and umbrella shape with my Sharpie so that it looks like a silhouette. That means it looks like my whole body is covered in shadows and you can't really see any colors or details. That will make my, color, my colorful rain really stick out. There, now my person and my umbrella are all colored in and it looks like I'm standing in a shadow, a silhouette of my body. Now I'm gonna use lots of different colors to make the rain. And since rain is made out of water, it's gonna be really wet, so my paint colors should also be really wet. You don't have to copy the colors that I pick. You can use whatever colors you want. But let me show you how to get started. I'm gonna make my rain coming from the top of my paper, like where the sky is, and I'm going to make it in a straight line all the way to the bottom. But when it hits my umbrella, it's not going to go through my body or through the umbrella. It's going to slide off the top of my umbrella to the bottom where the ground is. So watch how I do that. I'm going to start with this yellowy orange first. And I'm just going to start right over my umbrella, do a straight line down. Maybe I need some more paint all the way down really wet. And then I'm going to slide off the umbrella and keep going straight all the way to the ground, just like that. Now I'm gonna wash my brush really well and I'm gonna use a different color. Maybe I'll use um, green this time. So I'm gonna get some green on my paintbrush and since it's the first time I'm using green today, I need to put three dips of water in the tray to wake up that green color and get it really wet and puddly. Now I'm gonna start and I'm gonna do a straight line from the sky, but when it hits the umbrella, it's gonna slide down all the way to the ground and my green and my yellow kind of mix where they hit the umbrella that will look really beautiful okay let me choose another color hmm how about blue I think blue would look really beautiful okay I'm gonna give it a little space and do a straight line all the way down I might need some more cuddly because my paints kind of drying out all the way down to the ground. That one didn't hit my umbrella, so it can just go in a straight line from the top all the way to the bottom, just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, but now when my rain hits the umbrella, it's going to go sliding down the other side of the umbrella. So maybe I'll use red this time, and I'll start at the top, do a straight line down until it hits my umbrella, and then slide to the ground. And maybe it needs a little bit more color and water there. And then, hmm, maybe I'll do purple. Ooh, purple is a good color to go with red. Because remember, it's gonna hit the umbrella, it's gonna mix together a little bit. 
but that's okay. That's what we want. It will look really artsy and colorful and beautiful. So I'm going to do a straight line down all the way to the umbrella and then slide off the umbrella to the ground. There. Now I think the rest of my colors will be able to just be straight lines all the way to the ground because there's not an umbrella for it to roll off of. But when you're picking your colors, don't pick any brown or black paint because that will be really um, hard if it gets um, a little bit puddly and mixes with any of the other colors. It will just make your colors look really dark and muddy and we want it to look really bright and colorful. There, I'm all done. There's my beautiful, bright, rainbow-colored rainy day. I hope you had fun painting with me today. Thanks for watching.